Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to do Raw Love. We're going to do Cancer the rest of March 2019, okay? So, let's see what we're looking at. Cancer, Cancer. We have the Emperor. I don't quite know if this is your energy or external to you. Cancers can take the lead, of course, but in boy, do we know how to reminisce in the past, but because the emperor's looking in the past. But having strength at the bottom of the deck is kind of telling me it's outside energy. But let's just kind of see what we get. I mean, you could be in the energy of um, this too much. You could be in the energy of this too many. Of a leadership role, of course. You know, but... If you were in that leadership role, I, I don't I don't see you looking backwards. Cause now we have the page of swords. So it's like again looking towards the emperor. So I would feel this is more your energy, like you're watching somebody, or somebody's watching you and you're the emperor. You're in masculine energy, you're in that leadership role. Because somebody's watching the emperor. So, obviously, it can go both ways here. I, I still can't tell who's who. Damn, now we got the High Priestess all looking in the same damn direction. Are you joking me? <sighs> okay. This is... not quite sure. I'm going to turn this light off so you can see. Um, I'm like speechless, guys. Sorry. I'm trying to really figure out what, what this is. Like, this is either you, and I can't make that decision yet. So this is either you in the leadership role and somebody's watching you, and they're reminiscing about the past, and you just know there's something going on with the past. Because it's like you have the high priestess energy, because again, you're looking in the past. So it's like, it's almost like you know someone's watching you. You know there's a leadership role. You know there's something here for sure. Like you, in a way, you got to know what this is, because to me, this is you, this is you with the inner knowing. And my Cancerians are very intuitive. Or this is just legitimately the divine watching, but I'm, I'm not seeing it that way. This is either you watching somebody or somebody watching you, and you know. You know that there's a leadership role here. You know that you have to take the lead when it comes to something. So you got the Six of Wands, and it's reversed. So it's almost like not feeling victorious. It's like, so to me, it's like you're in Aries energy, which is great, okay, because we're in, we're in Aries. Where'd you go? Did I lose you? Because we're in Aries energy, right? Where's my thing? Hold on. Are we still recording? Okay. So it's it's in the Aries energy taking the lead, but like 
there's something here where it's like, I don't think you want to take the lead. Because again, you're looking, both of these cards are looking in the past. And it's like, either you or this other person does not want to think about the past anymore. So to me, you're coming up as the Empress and the Emperor energy, not wanting to look in the past. But there's something you know, and there's someone watching you. And not in like a creepy way. It's not like that. It's just whatever this is, is linked to the past. So if you're the one watching somebody, then this is you. If you're not watching anyone, you're the emperor. And now we got judgment. So the one that's watching the other person wants forgiveness, wants like a second chance, doesn't know how to say something, doesn't know how to word something. Like you're dealing with somebody who's possibly stuck in their ways. And again, judgment is going this way. So... This person who's watching you wants this holy crap, wheel of fortune. One, two, three, four major arcana out of six. This is something that you cannot avoid. You cannot avoid your past. And the beautiful thing is, is the wheel is actually going this way. She's looking this way, but she's also looking up because she knows, and she also knows there's a shadow side. Okay, so... Or he, he or she knows is a shadow side. So to me, you guys are emperor energy. You're, you don't want to look in the past. You think it's it's not worth it. It's not worth it to you to look back. Okay. Whomever's watching you is passing judgment on themselves or wants a second chance at forgiveness. You know you cannot avoid this. And it looks like you're trying to. Tell me about the emperor. So you guys are in the emperor energy and the high priestess energy. So that's that's quite a leadership role. Okay. There is, you know, that's, that's a lot. Okay. And it's clarified with the hierophant. So it's, it's spiritual, but it's reversed. So you don't want to use, and it's not linked to intuition but what this is saying to me is spiritual or not you don't want to look back because the the hierophant would be going this way okay when it's reversed it's going this way you don't want to even though this is spiritual to you you don't want to or you're dealing with somebody who does not want to be in the public eye even though they can play that leadership role they don't want to be in the public eye they don't want to be looked at. They don't want to be judged. They kind of feel like they need to do it. It can be that situation too. Tell me about the high priestess. So to me, this is that's this is something that's known to you. So you're in this energy of the high priestess and one or the other. It depends on who's watching who. There's a card that flipped. I'm trying to find it. I'm almost positive it flipped. Yep, it did. Three of Wands. Okay, this has to do with your future. And again, both of your future cards are going this way. So it's like you you don't want nothing to do with the past. You want to move forward. Um, this, somebody's possibly at a distance from you. But it's not, that's not an issue. I don't see that being an issue. To me, this is, it's your future. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Actually, tell me about judgment. Judgment, please. So whomever's watching, this is judgment. Whomever's watching someone else wants, is either being really harsh on themselves or wants forgiveness. Okay, so... We have the Queen of Wands with the Three of Swords. So somebody's watching the Queen of Wands. So you guys are Aries right now. 
okay? But the passion is gone. There's been pain. There's been sorrow because they're reversed, okay? There's, 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 it's just lingering energy that has not been transformed yet. It's just lingering. So now this person who's watching, you know, my Cancerian that's coming in as the leader right here, okay? But you could be very stuck in your ways too because right now you're not having it. But they're saying, use your intuition. You're smart. You know you're the high priestess. You have the inner knowing. But you're still right now, you're not having it. And now we have this lingering energy. So now this person who's watching the, the emperor, now this person that's watching my Cancerians kind of wants a second chance or is now passing judgment on themselves. Obviously, there was pain that was linked to this situation. Clear as day. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. So, what is this? It's the Chariot. It's my Cancerian. You know, regardless, my Cancerians are moving forward. But there is something from the past, because the Seven of Swords is reversed. There is something from the past coming back around. It could be a reconciliation. It is karmic with justice here. Something was very... Something did not go well, okay? Unjustified, not a good scenario, not, no grounding. Um, it, with temperance, temperance, this is like healing needs to be done. It's an, another sign of reconciliation, and it's the Seven of Swords again reversed. So this is karmic. I am not looking at this as a third party. Uh, you know, for some, in some situations... If there was a third party scenario, there's no one in this scenario anymore. Everyone's single. And it's not single ready to mingle because my Cancerians don't want to look back. But yet, it's like almost like it's like it's just it's here. Regardless, you're moving forward, your future is here. But I feel like for some reason, this needs to be addressed. It looks like it's going to be addressed. So, I'm going to pull you one card for your best advice for my little cancers, my little crabby patties. Wow, this was a tough one. And let me tell you, you have a lot, a lot of major arcana with you. Like, this is, yeah, you're going places. All right, you got the Ace of Fire, Ace of Earth. Okay, it's the inflow of abundance, you know, that's health, that's money, that's prosperity, that's wealth, you name it, all right? It's a new business adventure, too. And to me, with this distance, with this card, too, you're traveling. This could be across the world. It could be a foreign land, all right? You have important decisions and documents that are coming, okay? But this is, it's also a new start. It could be a new start with, with somebody new, too. It, it's, it's an opportunity to give time in whatever direction you choose, okay? I wish you luck, all right? Good luck. Love you guys. Bye.